So, it's quite an epic story, actually, that um, is in the Indian myths um, for how the eclipse happens or why it happens. And, um, and so it starts with um, the perennial battle between the gods and the demons. Okay, so that's always going on in the cosmos and there's a constant battle of, um, su for supremacy. And neither side ever finally gets um, all the power. But, so it keeps shifting. Sometimes the demons gain ascendancy and sometimes the gods gain ascendancy. And, um, and so Vishnu, in, um, he, he's a, the sustainer god of the Trinity, a Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva. And so Vishnu, in part of his job for, of sustaining the world order is to come in um, when the demons get uh, ascendancy and um, when the demons take over, right, and um, get all the power, the um, Vishnu, he has 10 avatars, 10 times when he incarnates as something to um, rescue the cosmos and put it back in balance. And so here's, here's Vishnu here. It's, it's often when the, the demons get the power, the gods, they come and um, ask Vishnu for help. They ask Brahma, and Brahma, it's funny how it goes. They come to Brahma, they ask him, and he says, well, we got to go to Vishnu. So, we go, so they go to Vishnu, and they, they say, we, what are we going to do? The demons have, they, and when, they, when the demons have power, like, right, corruption is there, and uh, egoism, and like all the ceremonies and different um, things in the cosmos get um, disrupted. So they're up to all kinds of trouble. And, um, and so the gods come, and, um, and Vishnu says, I've got some good news for you and some bad news. And he's like, the good news is we can, uh, I can get you your power back. And, um, but the bad news is, is we gotta, you got to work with the demons to get the power back. Damn. So... Um, so what he says is that we're going to churn the world, uh, the, the milk ocean for the nectar of immortality. And, um, and once you can drink that nectar, then you can defeat the demons. Okay, but the thing is, is that we can't get that nectar out of the ocean unless the demons help us. And so, and the only way to get the demons to help us is to offer them half the nectar. Okay, but but I but Vishnu says, but don't worry, I'm not gonna. I'll make sure they don't get their half when the time comes. All right, so so they go over and they they get, uh, enlist the demons. They say, hey, I mean they entice them. You wanna you'll get the nectar of immortality when you drink this beverage. You'll never die, right? And um, and so. Of course, the demons readily agree. They're like, yeah, I'm in for that. Okay, and so what they do is they get the, they, this, I have some pictures here that are showing the, the churning of the ocean. Okay, and, um, and you can see that here's the, the world mountain. Okay, so they grab, oh, well, here's the ocean for one. The world, the uh, the milk ocean, and so they they get the world mountain and they drag it over into that ocean, and then they take Vasuki. He's the cosmic snake that upholds the uh, the world, and um, he's the churning the. So the the world mountain's the churning stick, and the snake is the churning rope. All right, and so they get the the demons on one end here, and the gods on the other end, there, and they start the churning, okay? And um, here's another, here's another depiction of it. So you've got the, the, the demons on, um, on one end and the gods on the other end, okay? And there's the world mountain, and um, there's the ocean, then there's the snake. And so they're, they're churning. And, um, and so, the th 
I have one more depiction of it. And th so this incarnation of Vishnu is his kurma. Okay, he's the, like kurmasana, right, as the tortoise. And so where that comes in is, is that when they're churning, they start doing that dragging back and forth and the churning it up. But that mountain, the, the churning stick starts to sink. All right, so that's when Vishnu incarnates as the tortoise. You can see here, kurma. And he goes under that stick and holds it, holds it up. And um, this one, this is a wonderful uh, print, by the way, of the, the scene. It's a really old one. And um, I'll show you another thing, which is the, here's, here's a ceramic um, statue of Vishnu. And then the, as Kurma, that's his uh, Kurma avatar. Right, so there he is. All right, and so, um, so there they go, turning, and then the first thing that comes up is not nectar. In fact, it's exactly the opposite. It's, uh, it's poison. It's called hala hala, like in the prayer, right? Um, they, in our Ashtanga prayer, we, they mentioned the poison. And... Um, and so it's choking the whole atmosphere. Like the, it's th everyone, it's threatening all life, um, this poison that's coming out from the churning of the ocean, and they don't know what to do. And that's when Shiva steps onto the scene and he does the impossible. So he sips in that poison. And you can see here he is doing it. Uh, and, and what's... What's tricky about it is that he, if he swallows that poison, it'll completely destroy him. And, um, and so, but if he spits it back out, then it's back out in the cosmos. And so he ends up holding it in his throat. He neither swallows it nor spits it out. And um, he gets a br blue throat. And from that time, he's called, one of his names is Nilakanta, the, uh, the blue-throated. All right, so... So that the, the churning can resume, right? And then, um, as you can see in uh, these, these pictures, see, these are all the things that come out of the ocean um, before the nectar comes, okay? And a few samples of what comes out. One is that Lakshmi, the goddess, um, she comes out, and, and so Vishnu... And Lakshmi are a pair, right? So they're reunited in the perfect moment of time through the churning of ocean. The two lovers um, come together in a, a reunion. And so that's cool. And then um, the, the, moon, the moon comes out, and Shiva claims the moon or joins and um, makes it an uh, ornament in his hair. So you'll see Shiva depicted with the moon. And there's Ganga coming to earth, actually. It's a wonderful uh, <clears throat> wood carving. OK. And, um, and other things come out, but we're moving on. OK, so finally, finally, the Don Vantry, the cosmic physician, he emerges from the ocean, from the churning, and there he has it. He's got the, the urn with the nectar in it. Okay, and notice how Don Vantry, he, the cosmic physician, is also an incarnation of Vishnu. And so he's, he's showing up uh, multiple places in this story. And you can also see in, the, in this churning, he's one of the churners, <laughs> Vishnu. So he's Kurma, he's a churner, he's Don Vantry. Um, and um, and so, so what happens is, as soon as Don Vantry comes up, the demons then, they're quick on the take, right? I mean, we know that. And they come and they snatch that urn and start to go off and or they're going to quaff it. And, um, but then 
what happens is, is Vishnu incarnates as Mohini, the enchantress. And um, he, she um, basically t talks to the demons like, fellas, shall I serve? And so she offers to serve them the nectar, and they're like, whoa, yeah, let's do it. And so, um, so they give her the, the urn, and then she lines up the gods on one side and the demons on the other. And, um, and through her enchantingness, uh, the, she, the demons don't realize that she's just giving all the nectar to the gods, but there's one demon that's onto it, okay? And you can't see him in this uh, crowd, but he's in there waiting to get his sip of the nectar. And, um, and but Surya, the sun, okay, Surya alerts Mohini to the fact that um, his name is Rahu, this demon. And it's, it's, so he it alerts um, Mohini to the fact, this is Surya, right? He, so he sa says, hey, there's a demon here trying to get the nectar. And um, right when um, Mohini's pouring the nectar, Okay, and so she, the, Rahu gets, the, gets it in its mouth. He gets it, uh, the nectar in his mouth, and it starts to pass through. But Mohini then grabs this disc, because this is one of his cosmic um, weapons right here, the discus of light, right? So she hurls that discus at that demon and whacks off his head all right but and so he, he got the nectar from the head down but his body didn't get it so his body is mortal his head is immortal <laughs> and so that Rahu is so pissed at um, Surya for um, tattletailing on him that he chases that Surya around the cosmos that's his whole mission in life and, and once in a while, he actually catches up with Surya and swallows him, right? And that's when the eclipse happens. So it all goes dark because Rahu swallows Surya, the sun, and then, but it only lasts for a certain amount of time because he, the sun comes out the other end. The demon side. <laughs> that's right. So <laughs> there you have it. Wow. Yeah, this is the, that's the story of why the eclipse happened. So what's happening now is Rahu is almost caught up to Surya. Um, and he's going to catch up to him at 2, 2 o'clock um, our time and um, swallow him. And we're gonna, it's going to go dark for a little while, but, um, but Rahu is... It's not, he doesn't have a digestive system, so he can't finish the job. <laughs> huh. That's great. <laughs> so, there you go. <laughs>